everybody and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing um a another makeup look i have probably filmed four videos prior to this and i'm hoping this is the first one that even comes out because i haven't put any of the other ones out on the interweb so we're hoping and praying and wishing and hoping and praying that this one makes it to youtube okay because I'm getting more comfortable filming again, but I'm not putting any content out, so I don't really know. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just, you know. <laughs> but today, I wanted to come and do a fun look with you guys. Um, I'm going to call this Fire and Ice because I've been wanting to do orange for a while. And so, I'm excited about, about doing it. So, my face is clean and we're going to moisturize a little bit with our ponds um dry skin cream because nothing is work and i've washed my hands nothing is worse you guys than flaky um flaky makeup i personally don't like it and i'm gonna suggest you do that all right next up while we're letting that soak into our skin, we're going to do our brows. Y'all, this brow pencil is jet black. And not my favorite by far. This is gonna look good, you guys. Don't let it, don't fret, okay? Do y'all see what happened over here? Do y'all see this tragic incident that I brought upon myself when I was trying to groom my brows? Okay, so I've done my brows off camera and now we're gonna get into these eyes. Um, we already have a little bit of eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, but a little bit of concealer that I brought down. Um, from my eyebrows we're gonna add a little bit of white because we want to make sure that we can see the orange that we're going to apply to our lids today so I'm just gonna use the same brush that I had and put it in there I don't want too much but uh, <laughs> I think I've already overdone it already We can go on the bottom as well because we're going to be putting another shade down there. And so we're just going to pat it in because sometimes with this, if you, um, you can kind of already tell, but it will create nice lines in your makeup. And we don't, we don't want that. We don't, we don't want that. And I'm gonna kind of buff out these edges a little bit. Because they're already looking a little crazy. We don't wanna look crazy, you guys. That we don't want to look. I'm gonna pat it with my finger. And I'm just taking some e.l.f. translucent powder and patting that over where I put this white because you want it to be tacky but you also want it to be able to be able to blend because if it's too tacky it will um it'll just catch the brushes so we're going to be using these oranges in the middle here to kind of give it an anchor I'm going to go in with this orange right here it looks like a brown orange I guess you could say and we're just gonna place that in the crease section and I probably we don't need much of it we just need like something for um, to help us get from point A to point B from point A to point B 
And this palette is, I don't know where I got it from. I think I got it from like one of those like random beauty sales that you probably shouldn't get things from. I'm um, just being honest. Um, but yeah, what are we gonna do about now, right? All right, so should we just go in with it? Should we just start? Okay, let's just do it. Now this has a little shimmer to it. any other orange so what we're gonna do we're gonna go in with this one and this one here okay we're gonna do both of those and we're not gonna worry about um like fallout right now or blending it out yet we will get there y'all know this looks a little crazy right now and that's okay. That is a okay. So now we're gonna take the brush that we laid our transition color down with and this one. And is that it? Let's take this one. And let's kind of blend out a little bit. And the reason you blend like these harsh edges out, and you can kind of like carry it over you have a clean line um is because you don't want to like, look at the difference between the two right this is like a circle <laughs> well a semi-circle and this is like ah oh, you know we don't really know what it is now i want to take this darker this is like all oranges oranges kind of so i'm going to take another like a fan ish fan-esque brush and I'm gonna go in with a darker color to darken up the crease. This is 50 shades of orange here. And honestly you're not gonna be able to tell too much difference in these because they're orange and none of these shades are too different from each other. But yeah. but I'm gonna use yellow around the edges to kind of I'm gonna go back in with, with like a more dome shaped brush and I'm gonna go in with this yellow here and I'm gonna go on the outer portions of this and blend this into there because you kind of want it to be a gradient effect that's like the key here All right, so basically, again, we're just taking the shimmer orange shade, packing a little bit of that off, and putting it on the main section of our eye. And as you can see, you can see all three colors. Light color, darker orange, yellow. I think I'm gonna take one of these darker colored ones here from Judy's Place, this one called Cairo. All right, here. And we're gonna put that in the crease because just a little bit to darken it up because it's not, I'm a smoky eye girl. And so she likes a little bit of little depth. And then we'll take our yellow again and we'll blend it back up. So fire and ice, something's gotta be a little icy what should it be? Wait, you guys. I'm feeling like I need. No, I don't. Calm down, Ansley. Like, calm down. It'll be okay. All right, Leah, let's see what's popping. Let's see if we can make this happen today.
All right, let's move on to our face. I really like this, you guys. I like it. I like it. So first, we're gonna go in with our primer. This is one that I love, use all the time. Um, the Becca First Light Priming Filter. First Light. And we're gonna go in with this in some places because it really gives us glow when we need it. But then we're also gonna go in with our blur stick from e.l.f. because in some places you need to blur some things out. You don't need everybody on your this. Alright? So where your pores are larger, this is really good. But you have to be careful because it will um, pick up anything up underneath it. And that is for sure. Okay? We are going in with the True Match CoverGirl um, Matte Made in T30 Warm Honey. And we're going to pump that onto our hand. Two pumps. Should be pretty decent for us today. I've got it on in the places it needs to go. And then I just brush it on. I feel like it gives me a little bit more control. But at the same time, it has really good coverage. Um, at least this foundation does and it is buildable and it dries so well make sure that you put foundation near where your brows are you guys because the one thing that you don't want is um you know a mess of brows so i'm gonna let this dry for a minute before we put in the next coat oh god i like this and we're going to go in with our concealers and contours of the day let's see what do i want to do i haven't used my la pro Girl in a minute we'll do a blue a blend, right? So we use this, and then we will also go in with the wonderfully made um, Smashbox. Let's blend this out. Taking this up. Did y'all see that? Where did I cut that? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go in with the brush. It's the beauty blender is going to act crazy today. Alright, then we're gonna go in with our contour, which is going to be a Lay Pro Girl in Toast. And we don't need a lot of this. This baby. It will be everywhere. I'm a little scared of you guys. <laughs> We're gonna get it again. This is a really good swirl, but it helps with these and everybody's that need. I'm gonna use a bigger brush for those areas that need a little bit more work. You just keep blending it. See? It can seem wild and crazy in the beginning. 
going to show you another little trick. So much better. Take your foundation brush and just go over it. Over those edges and it will... And we're also going to go over this with um, setting powder. No need to fret. No need to fret. Contouring can be very difficult because um, at first it looks kind of crazy. It looks really crazy. Sometimes. But it makes your face look a lot. And we set our contour with the Fit Me. And we're just going to use the same brush that we blend it out with. And then we're going to go over everything with our face powder in the color medium dark by elf and a big fluffy brush get all that and just go over every portion of your face and blend everything together leave your brows out your brows don't need any powder well, what color should we put in the tear duct should we put gold in there not thinking gold? I think I'm thinking gold. A little bit of gold, a little bit of gold never hurt nobody. Let's go in with, which one? Mm. No, we should, maybe we should just do this one. Something a little simple, a little light. Not hurting nobody. I feel like I need to put a little bit more Blush made a difference before. All right. All right. After 30 years, you got lashes on. <laughs> that took forever and a day. Ooh, love Jesus. Okay. going on our eyes we should do a nude lip color so we're gonna go in with this lip pencil um let's actually let's make sure we have all the makeup off of our lips first because let me tell you something there's nothing worse than um having like trying to do your lips and there's caked up makeup nothing worse so we're gonna go in with this lip pencil in the color chestnut.
Does anybody else realize that they're prone to colors that are exactly the same color as their lips? creating this look like I am I'm stepping off on my comfort zone a little bit right um but I really enjoyed it I really um like doing it and I hope you guys enjoyed watching if you have any questions about anything I'm gonna try to make sure that I leave all the things that are needed below in the description bar I'm gonna step back a little bit so y'all can see but I'm feeling it I like it my hair isn't really doing what I need to do but I'm enjoying it okay but I like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.